Hello. You're listening to Radio Lewis, where the music matters. I'm Steve Brooks, and this is Vapor Trails. Ramones there with Baby I Love You and uh, yes, welcome back to uh, another Vapor Trails and this one's actually following on from our last one where we did uh, covers or originals um, sorry, originals of covers that punk bands did and uh, this time around we're looking at actual covers by the punk bands so we're going to start off there with the Ramones and Baby I Love You and uh, that was the last track we played last time round uh, the Ronettes original and that's for Cindy and Jane over in Brussels because I forgot to mention them last time so sorry about that also Pete Bunnell Smith asked for that one so um, and this is what the, the show is today so uh, I'm going to move right along now with um, the undertones and their version of Let's Talk About Girls Hey! 
undertones with let's talk about girls from 1979 and that was the b-side of their single you've got my number um the the hit uh, the original hit of that was the chocolate watch band but it was actually recorded a year before by tongues of truth and i must admit i've never heard that so perhaps that's one for my homework uh next uh up is um the uh the one for the missus slot as it were um for alison and uh she wants to hear the uh the clashes version of every little bit hurts now this was um an outtake from the sand sessions in 1980 and didn't actually get released until um, a good decade or more later on the, the Clash on Broadway compilation and uh, yeah it's not actually the whole Clash it's Mick Jones um, singing Topper Heaton on drums um, Mickey Gallagher playing keyboards and Norman Watroy from the Blockheads playing bass um, but yeah this is their version of Every Little Bit Hurts Give my 
Was l- that was lovely, wasn't it? That's uh, The Clash and their version of uh, Brenda Holloway's uh, 1964 uh, song, Every Little Bit Hurts. And, and that was for the missus. And uh, moving along now, this is, um, like I say, we're playing punk covers of songs. And uh, kind of a bit of a question mark over this next one, whether he's punk or not. I would say yes, just purely on one performance. Um, others may doubt it. But this is John Otway and Wild Willie Barrett. And it's a song that uh, Adam Faith had a hit with in the late 60s. It was actually written by Bob Lind, who uh, you may know had a hit with a, a song called Exclusive Butterfly, which I think Dolly Parton did. Um, but there, there's a performance on YouTube of these guys performing this song on Whistle Test. And it's absolutely hilarious because there's just Wild Willie Barrett um, playing this kind of uh, heavy guitar through a, a, a stack of... Um, amps. He's got like an amp pole on top of a speaker. John Atway just kind of messing about as he does. And at one point, he leaps upon the said stack and it collapses underneath him. And as a contemporary review said at the time, that his fall onto the sharp corner of the speaker was cushioned by his testicles. And basically, he carried on. And if that's not punk, I don't know what it is. Anyway, this is Wild Willie Barrett and John Otway and Cheryl's Going Home.
going home tonight, okay Running down the train track, lost now, she got away And sure, baby, I love you For all the things you've ever done for me And that's true Now that, see that look in your eyes My God, I'm sad now, paralyzed You got away And you ain't gonna stay And I'm so sad You got away And that's fine And that's fine It's going to choo 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 down the track Choo 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 down the track John Otway there with Cheryl's Going Home from 1977. And now something much more recognisably punk, it's uh, Susie and the Banshees. And this was a B-side from their 1979 single, I think it was their second single, The Staircase with Mystery in brackets. This is their version of T-Rex's 20th Century Boy. in the Banshees, a 20th century boy. And uh, next up, um, we've got the, the Rosillos from 1978. And this is on their album Can't Stand the Rosillos. And this is uh, a cover of the Dave Clark Five's Glad All Over.
and I'm feeling Love that. That's the Rizillos and Glad all over. And uh, I was just chatting with uh, Ben, the producer there, while we were uh, listening to that. And, uh, yeah, we are thinking, actually, we should do a show just on um, the, the, the ladies of punk, uh, as it were. And, uh, yeah, I think that could be one to get our thinking caps on. Uh, and have a, a wonder about that. There's, um, if you want to get in touch and... Um, share something with me there's always the website www.facebook.com forward slash steve radio lewis and um the next uh, track has been suggested by so, uh, a couple of the usual crew uh karen who's um actually a singer in hagar the womb who are playing the rebellion festival which by the time this goes out would have just happened so i hope you've had a good pun karen and uh my old mate lloyd dickinson this is the dead kennedys basically giving it some cow poke on their cover of viva las vegas <laughs>
Viva Las Vegas, the dead Kennedys there. Oh, I came in over the top. I do apologise. Anyway, and now a word from our sponsors. Radio Lewis, where the music matters, and you're listening to me, Steve Brooks, with Vapor Trails. And uh, yes, you just heard there um, the mighty snuff from 1990, so slipping out of the, the time range slightly, um, but that is from the most amazing uh, EP short album that I own called Flibbity Dibbity Dob, and uh, it's full of various cover versions uh, of different things. Their take on Do Nothing is quite something. Um, but yeah, uh, snuff, marvellous, marvellous band that were around in the early 90s. They're still going, apparently. Um, last I heard, the drummer, um, who's called, I think, the, the Amazing Duncan, um, he's the drummer and the singer on those things, and he was in the Toy Dolls um, until fairly recently. Um, but as far as I know, I think Snuff are back out on the road again, so well worth checking out. Anyway, moving along with uh, a track from 1979, this is the Angelic Upstarts and their version of The Young Ones.
yes, the angelic up starts there with the young ones that have Cliff turning in his, gr- I, I mean, in his uh, swimming pool in um, Bermuda or wherever he is. Anyway, that was from the album Teenage Warning, and that was a suggestion from Alan Hay. Actually, Alan asked me to play uh, Angelic's Upstart's version of "We've Got to Get Out of This Place." Um, but to be honest, Alan, uh, executive decision. Do apologise about that, but I went for the young ones instead. All right, next track, and this is fantastic, this next track. It's uh, a version of Small Faces, What You're Going to Do About It, by The Pretenders. And this came out on uh, Flexipop magazine. I don't know if anyone else remembers Flexipop. Um, this was Flexipop magazine number six and from 1981. And, and Flexipops were great because they, they used to have these, obviously, like very thin plastic uh, things to put on the turntable. And they had a little circle and it said, place coin here to stop uh, flipping over. Uh, and literally, you put like a 10p piece on there. And, uh, yeah, it was about the value of the said flexi pop i think actually uh, having said that i looked this up today and it's worth 20 quid this one if anyone's got it anyway the pretenders and what you're going to do about it Pretenders with what you're going to do about it from 1981. On, on the last show, when we did originals or almost originals of uh, songs that were covered by um, uh, punk bands, we did play a uh, a song that the Jam covered, which was Big Bird. We also mentioned, I think, in a previous show, um, a live B side um, that the Jam had on, which uh, had two. Uh, Motown songs on it. One was Back in My Arms Again, which I think we played. And there was also this one, which is probably my all time favourite cover version of of anything. Um, This is basically the jam in 1977 going a thousand miles an hour through Arthur Connolly's Sweet Soul Music.
No, there's not. There's uh, where the track ends, actually, Mr. Weller. Um, Ben's just told me that we are uh, unfortunately going out live at the moment. So, hello, Mum. I've always liked to say that. Um, just to go back on Arthur Conley's uh, version of um, Sweet, let's say it was the original Sweet Soul music, but it was actually a take on a, an earlier Sam Cooke song called Yeah Man, which is actually really good, so well worth checking out. And uh, next up, um, a song that I hadn't listened to for a while, uh, and this is another one I really, really love. This is Coxbarra from 1977 and their version of the Stones' We Love You. Sparrow with uh, We Love You from 1977. And uh, yeah, there's some great videos for that one as well on YouTube if you want to check them out. Um, I, I think there's one with uh, Ian, the lead singer, dressed as uh, a droog from Clockwork Orange with the makeup and the, uh, the obviously, what's the right word? Um, cricket box uh, thing. Um, but yeah, that's. Uh 
a great version there. And um, as you know, Vapor Trails, when we do a, a fairly standard show, um, we have a cut off of uh, October 1976 for things, which is when uh, New Rose by the Damned came out. And interestingly enough, on the B side of New Rose was this um, the Damned playing the Beatles' Help. <laughs> Damned and their version of Help, and that was another one suggested by Lloyd. Uh, yeah, Lloyd had a wonderful time uh, connecting up with me on Facebook and suggested enough for about four or five programs, um, but we just, we just kept to a couple. So uh, next up, a, a, another great cover version of a, a TV theme, actually. That, that could be a show in itself, couldn't it? Just covers the TV themes. Uh, anyway, this is the Dickies and Banana Splits. Banana Splits uh, theme, or the Tra La La song, as it's known. And actually, I'll play that one for my little boy, Danny, who actually loves the Banana Splits. And I brought him the box set on DVD, thinking, oh, he's going to love this. And uh, I brought him all these great cartoons, and he hates the cartoon bits, and just likes the uh, Banana Splits bits running around and and, and that. Anyway, um, the next uh, track uh, basically had um, a couple of people suggest um two different covers of the same song um chris roskilly uh 
asked for the Sex Pistols version of I'm Not Your Stepping Stone. And uh, local boy, Jimmy Clammer, um, asked for the Minor Threat version. So, uh, yeah, I like saying local boy because then I just want to say, oh, I'll have three uh, flat ones and a bag of gravel. Um, but that's a, a reference for other things. Um, but, yeah, uh, I tossed a coin and uh, Jimmy's one came out on top. So, sorry, Chris, this is going to be Jimmy's moment. And uh, this is Minor Threat with I'm Not Your Stepping Stone from 1981. Got it. minor threat there and i'm not your stepping stone from 1981 okay we're coming to the last track of of today's uh, vapor trails so uh, i'll just run through an an enormous list of thank yous for everyone that's been uh, sharing and caring out there Uh, and also an apology as well to uh, jonathan badley and barry holmes um, who gave me some great suggestions and i just literally run out of time so really really sorry to you guys but we will get something in soon for you Anyway, thank you to uh, the following. Sally Robinson, Helen Ball, Karen Amston, Martin Rosser, uh, Paul Joyce and Bob Laird, uh, the Mold Man at Army blog, Kevin McVie, Phil Dyson, Laura and Joe Fern- fernandez Kane, Phil Greenwood, Barry Holmes, Jimmy Clammer, Lloyd Dickinson, Cindy and Jane in Brussels and everyone else, including Ben, the producer. And I'm uh, going to leave you with um, a cover from 1979, of the Kinks uh, song Lola, and this is uh, The Raincoats. Anyway, until next time, have a good one, and see you soon. I met her in a club down in Old Soho, where they drink champagne, and it tastes just like cherry cola. See you, She walked. 